morning guys, Tom for Animal Muscle. I'm going to show you three of my favorite forearm and grip work exercises that you can do on your next arm training or as an accessory work on your training days. First one is take a standing bar, a brush, any type of pole. Now this is lever based so more towards the center of the bar I go, the easier it becomes. But So the focus is take your hand towards one edge. This increases the lever length. Keep the forearm planted on the bench and just use the wrist to generate torque and tension. Take the bar all the way over from one side to the other. Fantastic for training the forearm and your grip strength. Nice for controlling the eccentric and the concentric. And this really does hit all the forearm muscles. And again, make sure to work both arms. So here we go, all the way over, all the way back. Forearm staying flat at all times and just rotating over. That's one of my absolute favorites. That's exercise number one. Second one, call these kettlebell turnovers. Raise the kettle, rest the kettlebell on the bench and just turn it over on the handle. So use your wrist to generate torque, pull the kettlebell back and forth. We're not trying to draw our shoulder into it, keeping the forearm nicely isolated. And again, this is all wrist tension. And it nicely isolates, generating torque through the wrist. And you can obviously scale the weight to whatever weight you need. So that's exercise number two. And number three is with a weight plate, wrist over the edge of the bench. And if you've got handles, use them. If not, pinch grip, let it hang towards the floor and then extend the wrist out in front of you so that you are basically keep made, raising the wrist to the same height as your forearm. Uh, this is more difficult with the pinch grip and the heavier weight plate you use, the more gravity will affect you and the much harder this will be because typically weight plates will get bigger. So it'll make your pinch grip a lot harder as well. But definitely put these in guys. These are three of my absolute favorite forearm training exercises. And they are muscles that don't really get a lot of focus. So put these in and it'll transfer to better grip strength on your deadlifts, better grip strength on your pull-ups and your rows. So they really are worth putting in. Follow and subscribe for more tips. So a couple of the suggestions here guys, weighted hangs, either with a weight or without a weight. And additionally, either with both arms or just one, hang strength is greatly underestimated for how beneficial it can be. And something as simple as hanging from a pull-up bar is one of the best ways to develop it. Do this with one hand or two. And if you find it easy for anything from 10 to 30 seconds, even up to a minute, use a weight like I am here at the end of my session to make a one-arm hang more challenging. It's a fantastic way to train your pinch strength while you are gripping the plate as well, so you get a double bonus here. So guys, let's talk about some grip strength development here. So as you can see, with a weighted barbell, and I've got two straps in the hands, well these are two bouldering straps, um, that you can just make your grip a lot more challenging. It's a fantastic way to do an isometric hold and build up strength in just your overall forearm strength and grip strength. Now I do superset these with some <coughs> wrist press ups, as you can see, start on the knuckles, then you fold the wrist down to the side, do these on a mat for sure, because they can be quite uncomfortable on a solid floor. But it's a fantastic way for develop, developing uh, more mobility into the wrist and getting a greater range of motion. And not only that, but developing your strength as well. Grip strength is massively important in training, so do not neglect it. Hi guys, so just wanted to drop a last message in at the end. Grip strength training is anything that involves us using our extensors in our fingers and our forearms to hold a resistance. You can utilize this with any of the exercises I've demonstrated here, or something as simple as holding a weight plate or a dumbbell in the edge of the crooks of the fingers, pinch gripping a large piece of timber, any object which is difficult for you to grip and you hold it for a duration of time is going to improve your grip strength. This is one of the most underrated and fundamental training principles you can use. Same again, if you put a heavy resistance uh, elastic band around the outside of your fingers and you do uh, finger extensions or contractions with, where you try and spread the fingers as wide as possible in the resistance, again, you are training your forearms and your extensors in your hand and you will improve your grip strength. Yes, incredibly simple, massively overlooked and massively undertrained. If you compare this to what rock climbers do, which is utilizing Grip strength and a lot of forearm strength, you will notice just how strong they are at managing to hold their whole body weight on one arm, free hanging. It's something that not many people can do. So in terms of grip strength, guys, there's loads of options with it. Hopefully here, 
I've shown you some inspiration. If you would like to see any more and you're interested in learning some more, please don't hesitate to ask me any questions or send me anything over via direct message or via the channels. And I'm more than happy to get back to you and definitely film some more content if you feel it is needed. Have a good one and I hope this has helped.